I was born with culture. I cannot walk away. I'm trying my best to get the young generation today back into culture. So that's my intention of talking to young kids. Education is the key to employment, and knowledge is power. Our culture keep us strong, not just white men law, you know, drugs and alcohol, what they do. They damage you, you go to your body. For me, culture is very important and so special. It's like a spirit inside of me. And you can't take it away. Culture is everything to everyone. Kawanyama storytelling, it's like, to me, it's very important. And we should not let, let it lost along the way. That's why I keep burning fire. I keep burning the fire. I was born in Croydon. My mom and dad used to work out in the station. And they brought me back to Mitchell River, or well, they used to call Mitchell River before. And they brought me in, so me and my two, two sisters, we grew up in Mitchell River. And we stayed, them for, stayed with them for a long time. And we grew up with them, with our mother and father, and my grandmother and my grandmother. But I didn't see my grandfather, though. I just seen my grandmother. And we used to go out hunting and fishing with my mom and dad, out in the bush. And we lived in a cabstry house. Sometimes I tell stories to my kids when we used to live in the cabstry house. And they asked me over and over, so I keep telling them. I tell the story about cabstry house all the time. So I like to keep the story up and so my grandchildren can know what we did in the old days with the old people before. So I grew up out in the bush and born out in the bush. I always tell them, yes, today you're just welcome. You need to go to hospital, white doctor, white nurse there, but not in our time. I was born right here in Kawanyama, right in front of the woman's shelter where the bloodwood tree is, all right? And I'm a Kokomanjana girl. My mother is Kokomanjana. My father is Kokomanjana. Learn. You will understand now. You will all listen and, you know, keep it up, your culture. Don't let that culture just die down. Our culture. Kokomanjana, Kokobara, and Kunjan. There's three tribes in Kawanyam. Oh, oh! Oh! When get Oh! oh, oh. I just got a message for the kids, and the message is education is the key to employment, and knowledge is power. It's important to know your culture and for who you are and where you're from. My passion is about um, caring for country, mainly culture, passing the knowledge on to um, our younger generation to come. It's important to know where you're from and where is your country, where the roots are. Where the gadget go from here now? Which gadget? My tribe is Kokobara. I born and read here. It, we used to call it Mitchell River before. I born and read here it's mm -hmm. in Kawanyama. I grew up then. I went to school when I 
left school, I was, we went up to grade five. We didn't have a good, well educated, you know. It's hard time I tell them, kids, you know, when you got, you know, they don't like eat something, you know, out in the bush. Mm -hmm. I said, if you get lost, what is the thing you can learn to eat? Survive yourself. Look, hunt what you can find. Look for turtle. Go fishing. If you get lost, you can learn to hunt for your bush tucker. And survive yourself, you know. Go and make little humpy, sleep in the night. Our culture keep us strong, not those white men low, you know, drugs and alcohol, what they do. They damage you, you go to your body. Drugs especially, you know, make some people working like handicapped today, you know. Make you feel sad, look, look at them. Alcohol too, people fight, violence, show violence towards your children. That's make you feel sad. Keep the culture up and all that. The things what we do. Exp you know, tell them children, explain them. So I told them children, you have to keep the culture up, you know. Follow the, follow our step, you know. What we do and that. Yeah. Be strong, you know, for them. Mm -hmm. Show them how you, you know, how we brought up. Yeah. Tell me who your name is and where do you live? Um, um, my name is Jacqueline and I live um, in Taiwan. Do you? And who's your nana? Adeline. 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 Lawrence. Yeah? What's the best thing about having nanas? Um, thank you. Um, Do you love your nana? Why do you love your nana? Baba, baba, cook for me. First of all, I've got uh, a raffia. This is a raffia here, which I've collected a couple of days ago. This is um, the one of the fibre we get from our chemistry down the creek. This is, this is uh, collected from Cockleberry Country, see? This we call, in, in Cockleberry I would call this Parmacorum. This is the purpose of gathering the raffia. This is the dry one. This dilly bag is so special. It's one of my aunties done this, and this is from Kunjan side. Keep your culture strong. Keep on learning. Learning, learning is, is hard for you to learn, but keep doing it. You will achieve your goal by learning, listening to us elders. Just keep on learning, even if you can't understand. You can always come back and ask questions. Yeah, that's all. I, that's my message to Kawanyama. Keep our culture strong. What makes me a strong woman is I've been taught a lot from my grandparents because without just me, a single mom caring for four kids and being that strong, because I got all this knowledge from my grandmother and they told me, when you have your kids, don't put your kids on bottle, breastfeed them all the way through and put them straight on the cup. So I listened to what my grandmother said, even though they passed on last year and I had a bad year last year, and but I'm very thankful that you know they made me that strong woman and telling me all of these things, because without your grandparents you'd be a nobody. You know you would know nothing. When I was a little girl, I used to sit down and watch my grandma do get this refuse thing and dye them, boil them, dye up and dye this refuse. I used to watch my grandma as I was a little girl. As my grandma went. We didn't get to do all this good stuff what my grandma used to do on the other side of the river, you know. We used to go down the creek and watch my grandma do all this, this stuff, but we doesn't see them, see them stuff anymore. 
as I was growing up, I used to like see my grandma. She used to um, have a camp straight across from the river where she used to live. And we used to go and see her working on refuse. And yeah, she used to um, do some dyes too. We still remember how to do it because I guess how we grew up, we learned from here. And that's what made us stronger. Well, I, you know, I really want my girls to get involved with seeing their grandma doing this, but because they're really doing white people things, not how children growing up doing white people stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. not, not our culture. They're not doing what our grandparents used to do before. We're not seeing that anymore. Yeah. So, so what's your name? The key. The key. And who's your nana? The key. The Who's your nana? Ursula Greenwald. Ursula Greenwald. Do you love your nana? Why? Tell me what what do you love about your nana? Cook for you and cook for me. She cooks for you. What's your favourite food she cooks? Um, I used to sometimes learn my granddad's arm and he used to sing them old painting dance and yeah, teach us a lot. But when I as I was growing up I grew up down the bottom and then away from every other kids and we used to just grow up ourselves under the mango tree, yeah. Yeah, it was really good, but I'm thankful because my grandmother and my mom made me this woman and I'm proud to be a strong woman today. <laughs>